Houston, we have a problem. Now I'm <coughs> 60 plus years old and I started photography when I was a teenager back in the old film days and one of my favourite cameras that I used for a long time was an Olympus OM-1 here's a black one here it's still going strong everything still works funnily enough the aperture works on the lens the shutter speed works film winder works shutter works the ASA dial still chooses and the film, of course, is still the same film as all those years ago. So the quality I'm getting out of this camera is exactly the same 40 years later than when it was new. Oh yeah, the only battery in this thing was under here and it ran the light meter. It didn't actually control anything in the camera. So for decades I've run this camera with no battery, no light meter reading. Guestimates or knowledge and experience has got me through. Everything's mechanical, no battery. Bingo, everything works. The little Olympus Trip 35. This does rely on a selenium cell battery that gathers light here and controls the aperture and shutter arrangement. And uh, as long as that selenium cell keeps going, this will still work. But that's its weak point. If that goes, this camera is not going to point and shoot anymore, which is a bit of a pity. I've got a Leica copy here, a Russian Fed 2. All mechanical again everything still works in it no batteries required I can take photos as good nowadays as when this was made new now I use Fuji films professionally and personally I love these things they suit my workflow okay but whether you use Canon Nikon <coughs> Sony, uh, whatever great modern digital cameras you use what you like however these things are heavily reliant on the tech that's inside them and the battery to keep working. Any of those things fail? Okay, mechanical cameras can fail. I was once offered a box of OM10 bodies for 10 bucks. I passed it up <laughs> because none of them worked. But there's quite a few old film cameras that used to run on mercury batteries. Those things suddenly were banned worldwide and people had to hurriedly find ways to get around that to jury rig more acceptable batteries into their cameras so they could still keep working and of course there's old cameras out there that used weird little proprietary batteries weird shapes uh, and stuff and then when they stopped being made your camera was just a brick a doorstop this can still happen most fujifilm bodies this is slowly changing but most fujifilm bod bodies use these batteries lithium ion battery ws126 these are great so long as you can still get them but the day will come because they're only made for fujifilm cameras when these things won't be available anymore might be another 10 years but that will happen and then your beloved fujifilms like this are going to be doorstops so yeah in 10 years these are beautiful modern cameras are going to be quaint these standard batteries in most fujifilms now are already going to be superseded the xt4 has come out with a bigger battery the uh, gfx system bigger batteries the new x series cameras when they come out will use the bigger batteries you won't see these ones in new fujifilms so they've already got a limited lifespan sensors 26 megapixel soon to jump to 43 megapixel in a crop sensor but the shape itself, I reckon pretty soon, sensors won't be flat, they'll be curved to pick up the light properly from the lens and get rid of any distortion at the edges and vignetting. Uh, you're going to have curved sensors. You heard it here first. Global shutters are going to come in. These shutters are, will be old hat. In 10 years, global shutters will probably be old hat. Technology changes very quickly and these things are going to be left in the dust. Everything inside here is heavily electronic. Lots of electronic boards, motherboards, chips, all sorts of things like that. 
and uh, at the moment you can get replacements you can get these things repaired if they ever need it but one day no nah, they've moved on different things they're not mechanical cameras anymore and you would expect that I mean you've got shutter speeds in the you know like six thousandths of a second whatever the Olympus was very good but its highest mechanical shutter speed was one thousandth of a second even the little X70 which got me into the Fujifilm system this is a gateway drug beware has a use by date because the battery in these things isn't the more common 126 it's this slim little thing that isn't used on any modern Fuji camera anymore so they'll be making them for a while and third parties will make them for a while but when the demand gets too low they won't and this thing won't work without a battery now a lot of us like me got into Fujifilm cameras because they were so reminiscent of the old analog film cameras with all the mechanical settings the shutter speed dial the aperture on the ring change of ISO everything was all dials and supposedly mechanical however that's not actually the case because this camera is not only digital in its sensor but it's electronic in just about everything you might change the aperture ring thinking you're doing it manually but it's actually sending a signal to the body and then the body is sending a signal back to the lens to change the aperture as you move that aperture ring the aperture ring doesn't physically change the aperture it does it electronically by talking to the body your shutter speeds okay unlike the old OM1 I showed you before you change the shutter speed dial on that and it mechanically changes the shutter but on this no you set the shutter speed here you move this dial and it's talking electronically to the body it's not a mechanical setup it just feels like that okay it's a bit of a con very nice but these are not actually mechanical settings they're manual settings and lenses are even more of a problem so a lot of people me included like using old film camera lenses on our Fuji's because these old lenses are all mechanical you change the focus mechanically you change the aperture mechanically and they work a treat now in the future you won't be able to do that with the current Fujifilm lenses because they rely on electronics talking to the body to actually do something they're not like old film lenses without the electronics talking the aperture ring does nothing you can't control it manually you won't be able to enjoy these on other systems in the future like we do the old uh, film camera lenses nowadays the native glass from Fujifilm which I use and love is the 56 1.2 which I use often when it's not connected to the camera the aperture ring does absolutely nothing same with the 50mm this is the f2 nice compact prime but the aperture ring on its own does absolutely nothing my 18 to 135 use that for a lot of event photography aperture ring does nothing even some third-party lenses this is the Viltrox 33 f1.4 but it relies on electronic connections without them the aperture ring does nothing you have to go to mechanical lenses that are all mechanical like uh, this TT Artisan 35mm f1.4 that is a dumb lens it's got no electronic connections and the aperture ring actually works all by itself same with the Samyang 12mm f2 that aperture ring is all mechanical and it actually works without the camera but as nice as these things are nowadays at some stage in the future these things are going to be doorstops unlike some other nice old cameras that have actually lasted the distance so enjoy your modern cameras while you can because one day you won't be able to so while it lasts pick up your camera go for a walk and have fun Bye.